We did it. I'm live again. Hi, everypony. Kathy Wesick once again. Boy, this is becoming an extravaganza, isn't it? Great to see all of you, and welcome again to the live stream. I hope all of you are having a great time. I mean, there's just too many people, aren't there? There's too many of us out there, but this is a great thing. Okay, I'm going to adjust you, and hopefully this doesn't fall down, because I've had just a whack of technical stuff going on. Hi, 69 Lopez. Howdy, howdy, KNWR1 2000. Welcome, you guys. Woohoo! And a theater fan. Hello again. Hello, hello. So, before we get started, I want to remind you guys that there are some fantastic Pixel Kitty prints in my store right now. So, pick one up for purchase and I will sign it right here live. And I said I was going to make an announcement. Do I make that now? I think I do make that now. I'm going to make that now and I'll make it again when I do this again in an hour. Why am I doing it twice, you ask? Because I am. A lot of people have asked me to, and some people couldn't make it. So, yeah, within an hour. So, anyway, hi, everybody. I'm just going to put on the little comment thing so you guys know where to get the prints. Hello again, Ven Pai. Uh, hi, hi, hi. And that is, of course, where everybody else is right now, which is streamily.com. Shall I sing again? Streamily, we roll along, roll along. <laughs> Kathy Westluck. Uh, so streamly.com Kathy slash Kathy Westluck to have a look at any of the prints that if you purchase, I will sign live and hi. Um, so here it is right now. Uh, and I'll just say, I don't even know what to say. Usually I'm quite creative, you know, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am creative, but in some ways more than others, do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to say, get your prints. To we have to do this now, you guys. We can't do it before we go live. As far as I'm aware, I'm learning this thing. And have signed. I'm almost done. Don't worry. I've got lots to say. I'm a motor mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Did I do it? I think so. Hallelujah. Okay. I am pumped for tonight, too. We got a double ender here with me. Um, and I wanted to say that I do have an announcement because I discovered that uh, there are going to be, well, there is, I wanted to have a classic Pixel Kitties print of Spike and Mayor Mayor. You know, like way back when, that kind of thing. So I requested that we have another one put on in my store, and this one is only $30. The only thing is, because it's vintage, I don't have it with me, so I can't sign it live, but I can sign it, and I will send it to you. So it's available, it's $30, and it's in the store right now, and it says it's unlimited, but I'm not so sure with that one. It's called Spike and Mayor Mayor, so have a look if you're interested. All right, and there's so much more to say. Uh, hi, Anna Theater fan again, Gowan18 joined, welcome. Um, you guys are awesome. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. You want to come on for a little bit? Mm, you let me know. You let me know. I'm not sure how to do this anyway. Anyway, let's get some questions answered. And of course, I've brought some more quirky things to share with you. <laughs> um, hi, ERY C902. Thank you for joining. David M. Zengi. Hi, Andrew. So, hi. You're welcome to join me. Let me know. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you guys to bits and I miss you so much. Um, you, uh, okay, everybody. Andrew's going to take away the show right now. So, you know Andrew Francis, okay? How do I do this, Andrew? I'm going to figure it out here. But I'm going to bring him on for a tiny bit, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to let you go because i got lots to say to my fans, Andrew. Okay? But I love you. So Andrew's going to come on right now, every pony. You know Andrew Francis? Can I try doing Trunks from Dragon Ball Z? Yes, I can in a minute. Shining Armor's going to come on in one minute. Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, my gosh. Well, as you all know, Trunks in, in Dragon Ball Z, like we were just like fighting like crazy in the air. Does anyone know Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, Trunks and Chiaotzu. Or no, not Chiaotzu, Goku. We're going like this the whole time. I never had so much perspiration in my life doing that show. I'm not kidding you. So Trunk, Trunks was a lot like Spike again. What do you think was more up here? He was talking like this and blah, blah, blah. Goku, Goku, Goku. Yeah, those were um, the early days. All right, shall I bring on you-know-who you know right away? Let's do it. 
Bear with me, guys. I'm not sure how to do this. Dragon Ball Z, I know. It was fantastic. We'll get back to that. Ask me more questions. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Okay, Andrew, I'm trying. How do I do this? There you are. Okay, Andrew, I'm going to send a request. I've done this before, you guys. How do I do this? Does anyone know? Yeah. There you are. Hey. Hey. So, everybody, I brought Shining Armor on. Hi, Andrew. Oh, hey. I did, now, I don't want to steal the show. I'm just popping on for a second. I saw you were live, and I love you so much. I wanted to just see what you were saying and stuff. Kathy is the best. I just love Andrew, too. We love each other very much, Andrew. We do. Tell a story. Andrew. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Andrew and I were in a fantastic show called Cyber Six. Okay, my little pony fans, I'm sorry. We're just going to digress for a second. And Andrew was much younger back then, even though you're still young and now buff. Looking good. But okay. anyway, Andrew uh, lived in the same town as me, and I would drive him in. He couldn't drive yet. He couldn't drive yet. Wasn't that and funny? Kathy, and Kathy had this, this new Audi, and I was always, I remember, I'll never forget it, because every time I was so enamored by how smooth everything was. If I pulled the little handle down, to, and it would always just so slowly you back up. You remember I remember that. that. Yeah, of course. I remember that. And I thought that yeah. was one of those things that stuck. He also, Andrew was such a sweetheart. So I drove him in a lot because his mother said, look after this guy. His mother did. And so I did. And then he was so kind, he bought me a scanner. You bought me a scanner to thank me. That was so great. Scanners were like the internet. That was like probably a new thing back then, right? It was. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, didn't we have, so this is awesome that you're doing a My Little Pony thing, wasn't it? I mean, hello to all the My Little Pony fans that are out there. Uh, this is so cool. I, I see you guys have been popping on and stuff. And Kathy does such a great job at Spike, everybody, doesn't she? Yeah. A round of applause on the other side there. My goodness. Kathy has been an inspiration to me for, sorry, Kathy, to hijack, but you've been an inspiration to me hijack. for, you know, I don't know how many years, what, two decades now? Uh, you've always, you've had high voices, low voices, one of the most animated persons in the room. And so right when I saw you were live, I wanted to jump on and just, uh, and really just say hi, but yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Well, we of love course. you. I don't see you enough in time. I just don't see you enough. So let's do that some, I don't know. Definitely. Yeah, let's get together. And hopefully we'll all be back in a room together. We won't be recording one at a time anymore. Oh, right? can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. Check out Cyber Six because Andrew played a young boy in that. It's actually a young boy. Check it out. All right. Oh, Andrew, coming on. I love you. Yeah. Too. Thank you for having me, Kathy. Yeah, we'll do it again. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I send you all my love. Thanks for coming. Okay, bye, Kath. Bye. Bye. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> how do I get rid of you? <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> bye, everybody. I don't bye, know. Kathy. To... Love you. <laughs> don't you love Andrew, everybody? Don't you love Andrew Francis? Shining frickin' armor. Wasn't that a great name for him? Do I remember Oatmeal or Are You Crazy? That's my other ACC, and I got to my... No, I don't. I remember Noble. Oh, oh I kind of do. For, forgive me if I don't remember all of your handles, you guys, but I, I see you frequently and I'm so grateful. Um, so anyways, I was in the middle of telling you about a new print that's going to be in the store that's a little bit less than the other ones. I know these prices may be a little bit um, as not, not affordable for you, but there is one more on there. The only thing is I'm going to have to sign it when we're done. And by the way, you guys can still purchase these um, prints uh, until... And I think including June 6th. I'll be saying this again in an hour because I'm going to do another one. And I've got new things there too. So the national anthem of My Little Pony. This is so funny you should say that. Let's see if I can. I was thinking of, of another uh, song that, that's, that Spike could, could wreck. Remember when he did that, um, the Equestria Games, was it? And he was, didn't know how to sing the anthem, so he tried to make it up. Let's see if I can make it up one up, okay? Okay, let's see if I can do this. So the wonder bolts are great and I don't know if I can think of an anthem now. Cause it's really hot outside and I don't know if I can sing very well without an orchestra. And I wish Rarity were here, but I don't know if she knows that I'm still alive. But I hope so. But I can now fly, so maybe I will fly to her balcony and sit on her flowers. Yeah, he can still sing, you know, I think. <laughs> anyway, how's every pony doing? 
How's everybody doing? You guys doing great? Everybody doing? If there are any Cyber Six, not Cyber Six, I'm sorry. Yeah, Cyber Six. If there are any Cyber Six fans out there, let me know because I have got something to show you that you will just die over. It is a memorabilia I have that I don't think anybody else has. So let me know if there's any Cyber Six, Cyber Six fans. If they're not, I might show it in the next live stream in one hour. So I know that was a great song, what we just sang, what Spike did. And people have asked me that. They said to me, how did you sing that song when you had to ad lib it? And I said, I just had to pretend that it was real. So I did. So, but it was really fun. I loved it. Yeah. Anyways. So as you can see, I've got a couple of friends here. They're very ticklish. Let's see. Mayor Mayor is not amused. So she's not very ticklish, but I know Coco is. Coco's right here. She wants to say hi again, every pony. Um, she's got so much work to do. Oh, and a theater fan, you like cyber six. Okay. Send love through. Okay. So now that I know, I'm going to save that for a little bit later. And I'm going to show you my little thing on Cyber Six. I'm still tickling her. She's not laughing anymore. <clears throat> anyway, um, I promised through the live stream, other than signing, I promised that I, and thank you, the Cyber Six art. Um, thank you for that art. The art was beautiful. Um, but I am going to be doing more tips, more stories about us actors um, and my life and kind of the faux pas and the successes. So I think you'll be amused as usual. What is Spike's favorite gem? Uh, Noble Chaos is asking me. Spike's favorite gem. Well, he's got a few. He likes a red ruby and he likes sapphires. You know, some are a little harder than others. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen him, you know, nibble on a little bit of graphite in the past, which was like, okay, whatever, sort of a, Backstreet Boy, I don't know. Oh, you're Turkish. Hi, my Turkish friend. Pegasister 2000. How did I feel when you got your role from Rock Dog 2 and the roles Coco Spike from MLP? What is Kathleen Barr's personality like? Lots of love. That's a lot of questions, my friend. Kathleen Barr's personality um, is, is lovely. Uh, Kathleen is always on, and I say that lovingly, meaning when I say on, Kathleen Barr is always um, performing. She's always got voices coming out of her and she's chatting and she's energetic and she's a lovely person. She's strong as all get out. She's a perfect voice for Trixie because her voice is very, very strong. Um, and when I got the role for Rock Dog, a lot of people don't know about this, but it was, um, it's a series that's, I, I don't know where it's airing right now, but I was, I was in. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to get really any work and to get Coco and Spike from My Little P, MLP, My Little P, My Little P. What did I say? I'm a voice actor. My little pony. I was thrilled to get Coco because um, we do try out for a lot of the multiple roles in um, My Little Pony, but sometimes we actually are assigned them as well. So that's how that works. Um, but usually Latvia, Latvia, Maya, my, my, Meja Simona, Maya Simona. Thank you for tuning in from Latvia. I have a friend whose name is John Dritmanis, and he's from Latvia. Just thought I'd let you know, I do know that. And you're from Bosnia, MX mentality. Is it mentality or MX mentality? Three, 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 wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry you have to go, but thank you for joining us briefly, the other person. Um, how did I voice Spike, as in find the right voice for Spike? Just making sure that this is open, the shop. Uh, well, I found, how did I find the voice for Spike? You know what? That's an awesome job. And that is going to make me, oh, do I have my little guy here? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm not going to leave the table. Shoot. I had a tiny little picture of a baby Spike. And it was so cute. So I thought when I was told that Spike was a baby dragon, I thought the guy was going to be a baby like a little baby spiky wikey. Um, so I started to voice him as a tiny spike. So uh, let's see. So Sp Spike was like that. Um, he was just like, I don't know, so cool and that. He was just like that. Um, uh, he was a real baby and stuff. But um, that was too much of a baby. Thank you. I'm an acting legend. Thank you. That's, wow, that's a big title to have. Thank you. Um, yeah, baby spike. 
But then, oh, I have the comment. Someone asked me about Spike's older voice. Um, but then they're like, no, no, he has to be older. He's more like a like a boy, not like a baby. So then I just had to age him up. And you know what? We I embody the character, so I kind of pretend that I'm in that body, right? So that's how I do it. Um, I kind of agree with you, the person who did say, Garcia and Love Lovelace's voice, I've got that. Thank you, I'll answer that. Um, why did you, f why in your opinion and assessment did I sound um, still similar to young Spike when I was playing his big body? I'll tell you, that's a really good question I have because I was directed that way and I felt that his, <laughs> I felt that Spike's voice should be much older. I did. And I pitched it that way, but it didn't, it wasn't accepted. And I'm talking about the, the last episode when, when Spike grew and he was bigger and he had a big jaw. So what I would do is um, I would take his voice and I would, like for me, like, you know, I can only go so old as a boy. So um, what I would do is like, I, I think I played the bigger spike like this. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Hey, Rudy, what's going on? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's been a lot of years, but I'm doing the best I can. And now I work with uh, Twilight at the castle and it's great. You know, so this is what Spike would sound like. I think if he's the spike that has a big jaw, that's about as old and cool as I can get and keeping it relatively real. What do you think? Yeah. Spike what? I love Chesapeake Shores too. Andrew does a wonderful job, doesn't he? What a sweetheart. Okay, so um, what else did somebody ask me a question? Um, there's so many things to answer. Um, people were asking me how to create characters. How to create characters. So, and, and I haven't forgotten the Cyber Six fans. Don't worry. I'm going back to that. And re yeah, you can always remind me if I do down the road. But um, how do you create characters? Yes, I ship Spike and Rarity. Of course I do ship Spike and Rarity. Of course I do. Um, I'll get into that because I've got more questions coming up about the characters. How many languages can I speak, first of all? Regards from Spain. Hi, Spain. Man, do I want to go and visit you. Um, how many languages? Really, sadly, not that many. <laughs> But I can fake them. I can fake them. So what I mean is this. I was raised with a Russian grandmother who spoke Ukrainian and English and Polish as well. So I grew up with quite the mixture. Hi, Xtea. Um, and so I can fake Russian, I think, kind of good. And I don't mean it in a derogatory way, but in a playful way, because I wish I could speak. It's a beautiful language. So this is gibberish, but I think it sounds a little bit like Russian. The Russian bronies can tell me. Greetings, Germany. <laughs> oh, I'm on high octane. I don't even have a coffee in me yet. Can you imagine? Greetings, Germany. So, uh, back to the question about characters. Just fake the characters. Uh, yeah, so really, um, everybody has said this in the other live stream. Everybody wants to do everything. Only do the characters that you feel you can do biologically, okay? Hi, Tom, millennial, good to see you. Um, and so, for example, I'm gonna do something that I think I've done before, but maybe, hi, India, Arpita. Hello, I love Indian food. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love Indian food. <sighs> oh my gosh. Your dream was to be a singer or to sing for animation, but I studied to be a translator. Wow, we need translators. Oh, as a non Russian speaker. <laughs> Greetings from Wales. I'm getting back to characters in a minute. I've got beautiful questions. What is my favorite MLP ship outside of the hopeful uh, Rarity and Spike? Well, you mean who I would like to see shipped? I, I, as I said, outside of Rarity, I'd, I would like to see, I really would like to see Spike ship with, with Fluttershy. Come on. Hi from England. British. I love England. I'd love to go there. I have gone there, actually, to London. Yes, I have. I love the accent. 
Yes, I know Kelly and Vincent are on right now. Kelly and Sheridan and Vincent Tong. You know, that's the thing about our schedules. Trinidad, hi, Uptown Girl. I recall you. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, we have so many people that are live streaming every pony that I know it's hard to a figure out where everybody is, you know, try to purchase um, things from everybody that can get expensive. I understand. Um, but it's great. Yeah. Fluttershy spike and Fluttershy. I know that's kind of what you didn't think, right? Did I ship rainbow dash and Pinkie pie? Did I ship rainbow dash and Pinkie pie? No, I don't think so. No. Yes. And Seattle. What is my favorite chocolate? Oh, your questions are awesome, you guys. I'm trying to catch up. I do love milk chocolate. I do like dark chocolate Milky Ways. No, not Milky Ways. They're called Mars Bars in Canada. Oh, no, they're dark chocolate Milky Ways in, in the States. I love all chocolate, but I, I, I have to disappoint you. I don't like salted chocolate or caramel. I like car caramels. I don't like salted. You don't want to ruin it for, for chocolate, I'm thinking, you know. Uh, people are asking about the new print. Can you get the new print next week? Yes, you can get the new print. And I was just going to say this again. In my store, streamly.com slash Kathy Westluck, I'm going to show you some of Pixel Kitty's beautiful work. And I will sign. Um, but please feel free, guys, to go there now and purchase. I can do this while I'm, I'm uh, putting my head back and forth like this. <laughs> but you can get a print afterwards. Uh, the store will be open. The shop will be open. So you just go to streamly.com slash Kathy Westluck. It will be open and you can purchase uh, till, and I think including up till June 6th. Yes, so do check it out because there is a vintage Pixel Kitties that we just put up, uh, which I uh, won't be able to sign in person because um, I don't have it here. It's, it's on the fly and it says it's unlimited, but I don't think it is. Um, no, salt and chocolate should not be mixed. Which show characters are we talking about? Um, well, we're going to talk about, we were talking about who I thought should ship, you know, I just, I'm going to stick with Fluttershy and Spike. I know that's weird. I know in a way it's weird. Um, I still don't understand. And I said this in the last live stream. I don't understand. Thank you, Jumpy Chocolate. You're welcome to, to purchase one next week. Um, I don't understand the suggestion of Fluttershy and Discord. Somebody help me out with that. Somebody help me out with that. I don't, I don't understand that. I really don't. Okay. One of my favorite Spike figurines I still have, and I love to bits. Does anybody have this little figurine? And I'm terribly sorry to say, here he is. I'm sorry to say that I don't know who the artist is. But thank you. I mean, this is such a sweet figurine. It's my favorite figurine, my little favorite Spike figurine. Look at him. Don't you just love him? Look at, does he have teeth? Yeah, he has his little teeth. It's getting fuzzy. And also, look at the, look, look at the little tail. He's wagging his tail. Okay, I'm just saying, right? And yeah, it's so cute. I know, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> bon Bon and Lyra is a great ship. Could do, could do. Um... I don't know. Do you think Trixie would ship with anything? Maybe Trixie should ship with Discord. No, that would be an explosion. Wouldn't that be just like a bomb of craziness? That would be like, I don't know, massive chaos, don't you think? I think so. Yes, Discord is immortal. He is. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, take a look at the autographs here now. Autograph today. Um, sent, I signed a pile of them over the last while. And I was thinking, I'm sorry if I was supposed to spread that signing over my four times. So I hope that those that I signed for were present. Um, you can continue to do that. And I'm coming back in an hour after this hour. I know. So I'm coming back at four. No, one, one, four Eastern. Okay, so Trixie and Starlight. Trixie and Starlight? Trixie and Starlight? You think? Yeah, Trixie does love herself way too much. I don't know about that ship. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, thank you, the fur, bot, the fur bay, or what I just missed your handle. I agree. That's not a good ship. Um, Discord and Fluttershy. I'm just saying. Sparity forever. I know. I agree with you 100%. Hi, Jonathan. 
Right. Mary Fluttershy with Discord? No, no, no. I think it's the other way around, don't you? I think she should marry Spike and never mind. Okay, this is getting very shippy. <laughs> and that ship is sailing, maybe. Okay. Well, you're going to laugh at me, but um, I love to sing. I love Christmas carols. Does everybody know that? Almost midnight, Arpita. Oh, thank you for staying up. Um, I, what was I saying? I don't even know. Oh yeah, I love Christmas carols. And I used to sing Christmas carols all the time in the studio and the other actors would like, you know, throw things at me. I thought it was funny, um, but I love Christmas carols. And so um, today's um, little mug with my drink, which is just gonna be water today is Santa. So, you know, if it's hot, we're wanting to bring the temperatures down. So I'm just, just gonna bring down, just gonna have a little Santa here. Mm. Spike and smolder seems obvious, doesn't it? As a ship? Yeah. I know. And you know what? That's possible. Okay, that's possible. We're not saying it's not. Um, okay, this is the thing, you guys. I have to leave the table because I don't have my Sharpie. I'm leaving the table. Here I go. It'll be like one second. Don't go away. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Still here, still here. I'm still here. I'm coming back now. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. I'm back. Whew. That was close, wasn't it? I didn't know if I was going to go back in time or not. If I was going to come back. Rock Dog. Yes, I was in Rock Dog. Do you guys get Tara's recording and then record, or does she record after? You'd have to ask the engineers on the timing of that. I don't know when in relation to us uh, she does, but yeah, she's separate. She's separate. I don't record with Tara. And have I ever been to Europe? Yes, I have been to Europe. Yes, I have. And I would love to come back to Europe and see all of you again. So where have I been in Europe? I have been to many countries. I've been to Vienna twice because I love Vienna. I've been to um, Prague once. Um, I have been to Germany. Yes, I have. I would like to come back. Um, and I've been to, in Germany, I actually took, yes, of course, everybody does take a boat up the Rhine River. Um, but that was kind of fun in Germany because um, I actually stayed in hostels because I was young at that point. I was backpacking in one of the trips. And I stayed in a hostel that was up in a castle because there's a million castles along the Rhine River. And I went with one of my friends from high school and my brother came too. I let him come. He's older than me though. Anyway, and so... That was, I'm sorry, but that castle was not a clean castle. What do you want for a hostel, right? But Germany was beautiful, loved it. Went to Koblenz and went to um, um, Munich. Munich was my major stop there. So I have been to Germany. I've been to Austria, Salzburg. I've been to England. Um, I have been to uh, Greece. Yes, I've been to Greece. Every pony loved Greece. Again, I was backpacking and I was lying on a Grecian ship on a very hard floor of the ship. I didn't sleep a wink. 27 hour trip. And uh, yeah, it was wonderful. Um, we went to uh, Ithaca, Zakynthos were the two places we went. And I did take a trip into Athens. It was really amazing. I loved it. It was wonderful. We rented mopeds for really cheap too. Um, and where else did I go? So I've been to Germany. Austria, France, been to France, went to Cannes and Monaco and Nice and Paris. Yes. And where else have I been? Belgium, went to Belgium. Um, Brugge was beautiful. And um, where else? In, another place in Belgium, I can't remember. So I've been to Belgium. Uh, where else have I been? Yeah, many countries. It was lovely. I had a wonderful time. Um, just trying to think of anywhere. Oh, Amsterdam, went to Amsterdam. So, and yeah, yes, Yehudi, Hawaii is one of my favorite places on the planet. And I love, I love uh, Kauai. Oh, I love them all. I love all places, but I love Kauai. So if you guys have any chocolate macadamia nuts that you just feel like sending me or my agency, the characters in Vancouver, do it. Oh, my favorite pizza topping. I'm boring, guys. I can't have bell peppers because they bother me. So you're going to hate what I'm going to say. You are, I, but I like, um, 
I do. I like pineapple, onion, mushroom, and some pepperoni. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Why haven't I been to Germany? It has been nothing but scheduling, scheduling problems um, and some conflicts. But I do want to go. And Amsterdam, by the way, we're talking about travel. Amsterdam was a blast. Um, really enjoyed it. Very cultural. I love art. So I went to all the art galleries and I love culture and stuff. And so, um, but what's so cool was there are so many, yes, I do still teach. Let's see if you can re remind me about teaching because I do, do still teach. I've taught for many decades. Um, yes, Amsterdam. When I stayed in this place, I don't think it was a hostel, but kind of, the stairs were so steep. I felt like I was mountain climbing. So I kind of went up the stairs and I was yodel, yodeling, yodeling, hee hoo, you know, because it was just so high. <laughs> it's not blasphemy. It's not blasphemy. Pineapple is not blasphemy. It's not. Have I been to Kansas? No, I haven't been to Kansas. I was going to do the Dorothy. There's no place like home thing, but I guess you're sick of that, right? Yeah, it was a great film. You took my class 20 years ago. I know I'm still around doing them but I have so much more to teach you guys. And so I am doing online coaching. Um, you can go to, I have a makeshift website. It's really a website posting. It's not really much. And I'm, I still have to get around to doing proper stuff, but I'm so busy. Um, but you can check out um, Kathy Westluck. Um, what even is it? www.kathywestluck.com, Kathy Westluck Voice Productions. And um, you can see um, my training there. So... I don't know if Tabitha ships spike in rarity. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tabitha's in another world sometimes, so it's hard to know. I love you, Tabitha. Okay, I have an autograph here, Every Pony. So let's just get to that. Where are we? Aha, Brian. Are you with me, Brian? Are you with us, Brian? I hope you're there. So Brian wants to have me sign one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. I'll show you the other ones, but store's open, guys, if you still want to poke around in there and buy something to have me sign it. So this is the 1950 Spike and Coco Pamel. I love this one because guess who's right there? Mayor Mayor. Mayor Mayor. Yeah, I love this one. And there's Buttercream Sunday from Little's Pet Shop, just thrown in there in the background. Yes, yeah, Spike loves pizza. So... Thank you, Brian, for popping in. Thank you for your purchase and your support thereby. And uh, I hope I get to see you at a convention. And remember, you guys, if you purchase something, there is a comment box that says special instructions there. And you, therefore, can ask me a personalized question, and I will spend time on that. So think about that. Okay. So, Brian, here we go. I will sign this to you. Uh... Okay. Yes, sorry. Oh, I love this one. I love them all. Have you guys seen the Ogres and Oubliettes one? I'll show you. Just one moment because I can't chew gum and rub my stomach at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There, I did it. Woohoo, Brian. Can't wait to get this out to you. Thank you so much again for your support. All right. Yes. Okay. So I love Littlest Pet Shop too. Didn't you guys love? You're the scoosh to bushes of all the scoosh to bushes. That was so bizarre. She had like this, she was high on sugar. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? Having a high. Never mind. Okay. So here you go, Brian. Thank you so, so much. Fabulous print. Love it. And I'm going to show you the other Pixel Kitty ones because I got to tell you guys that these are vintage. There's, well, there's one vintage one. I told you that one I don't have available to sign, but you can purchase that. That one's for $30. So thank you, Brian. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to show you the other Pixel Kitty ones because I'm excited about them. I'm excited about those. They're really cool. They're really cool. I'm starting to really love the Ogres and Oubliettes one. It's really awesome. I'm going to show you if you haven't been to the store. It's my favorite, I think. Buttercream. You should start watching LPS. You should. 
Look at this. Spike and Mayor Mayor playing Ogre's New Bliettes. Are you kidding me? Look at her face. Look at these figurines. There's the Brave and Glorious. Like, whatever. Look at this one. This is, like, hilarious. It reminds me of the guards when Spike and Thorax met. You know, the guards, they were great. Ha, 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 ha. I know, we love buttercream. So that one, you guys, you can get in the store also. Ogres and Oubliettes. Awesome. And then we have, we got a Halloween one here. I'm not sure why we have a Halloween one, but it's great art, isn't it? Look at this. Look at Spike's funny costume. Are you kidding? He's got a microphone. That's like me. Well, it is me, because I do Spike, right? I know. <laughs> I know. That other, that other one... Uh, the one that we just had signed has been at another convention. Yes, it has. But these other ones are original. This one's original too. Are you kidding? Look at that one. There's a dog in there. There's a dog in there. Yes. I am fine, Goomzy. I am doing fine, actually. Thank you for asking how I am. Um, yeah, it's been really a challenge for um, so many people on so many levels. And I've been okay. Uh, we've had our own, in, within my extended family, we've had our own challenges, not COVID related, thank goodness. So um, yeah, we've all gone through quite a bit. Um, and I know that so many of you have in DAR. So I really appreciate, um, you know, all the struggles that everyone has been going through. And I hope that, that there smooth sailing is ahead for you all. I know there's just so much, uh, so many conventions to still get to. So I hope we can all meet at one again. I was talking about um, how I loved Baby Spike. And uh, when I first um, was going to do Baby Spike, like when I first started to do the voice, this was more the character I thought that he would be and stay. Okay? Do you love that little Baby Spark, every pony? Is that a bib he's got on? Is that a bib or a shirt? It's rarity, I know. But I think it, it looks like a bib to me. I don't know. Anyway, it's very cute. So we were talking once again, or I was starting to talk about, um, I was talking about uh, how to create characters. Because a lot of people um, want to know that. Yes, I would love to meet you again too. Friendship pony, excuse me, I'm burping. <laughs> um, but when you create character voices, I always recommend to stay in the range that you were naturally biologically in. So you don't want to strain yourself. You don't want to like try to go too low if you're not a low sounding voice. You don't want to do any of that because it's just going to sound contrived. But some people, there are four different kinds of voice acting categories. That's Kathy Westluck's assessment. And I believe that. So there is the category where you have your own natural speaking voice and you only use that when you perform in cartoons. That's a category. So don't throw out the fact that your own natural voice is, is, a, is a character. It is. Your own voice is a character. There's another category, which is that you can only do crazy cartoony voices, but you can't talk normally. I have a lot of actors I work with like that. Or they just don't, they can't talk because they're just like on high octane the whole time. So that's another category. Um, and then we have, let's see, we have um, people who have the voices, a voice that is really, really high pitched. It's really high pitched or they're really, really low. And so they're really unique. And so they sound a certain way. And that's how they sound. And so they're hired over and over and over and over again for their pitch. Now, Andrea Libman can do variations. She has, she does. But she's very high pitched. And so she does a lot of that kind of work, right? Because you have a, a, a I know I love Andrea too. Uh, you have a certain quality and so the people cast you for that. But try not to get out of your range. Um, I'm gonna see if I can slide my range for you. You guys ready for this demonstration? We have 20 minutes left in our hour. So if you have any more questions, you guys fire it away. Store's still open. I've got a few more things I wanna show you and I will show you the Cyber Six thing. Uh, so I'm going to go from low to high, see how high I can get today. So let's see. <clears throat> you do have to work with what you've got. You do. Okay. So if I get down here, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. I did a little character. He was a little troll in Troll Tales. It was called Troll Tales and it was only aired in Europe. 
Dog G Snapper, what does robbers do? Those robbers, are they kind of friendly or are they kind of evil? Because I think I saw a robber downtown yesterday, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> what does robbers do? I actually did that character. Yeah, it's pretty low, okay? So you get down here and then you can get as low as you want to and, and Spike can get that low too when he, well, he should have when he grew up. And then you get here and then you get here and you can start talking like this. And they can start talking here. I can use my own voice. Or I can be Mayor Mayor, and she's a little bit lower. And then I can get higher, and I can get younger. And then when I get younger, I can sort of put some attitude on so that I've got some, like, I don't know, it's just so cool. Like, it's just so random. Everything's so random now. Do you know what I'm saying? And so you can get higher, and then you can get higher and stay here. And so now you have a small girl but she's like just sort of still I guess I don't know in her teens or that and then you can get higher and higher and then you can start talking like this and then you get really high and sort of talk like this and then you turn into a baby and then you can start talking like this and then you can go like that and you can talk like a baby if you want to and get higher and higher and higher but because I'm like a because I'm an alto I can't go very high yeah kind of yeah, it's, it's like a sliding scale, you know? Yeah. Anyways, there you go. Oh, I forgot. And I did this one yesterday, too. If you wanted to do an old lady and you could talk like this and you have the voice range. But there's also lower, lower old ladies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So here's a lower old lady. Um, well, dear, I'm so glad you could come on over. As you can see, I don't have anything to offer you. I've got some tea on the table there and a little scotch. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't have too much else because as you know, I just had surgery and I, I can barely walk there, but I'm doing the best I can. There you go. Can I teach how to do spike again? Can I teach how to do spike again? Can I teach how to do spike? Yeah. In fact, I'll tell you what, this is how you do a boy voice. Is everybody ready? I'm going to give away my secrets. And I also have an itchy eye. Okay. This is how you do a boy voice. So I'm going to put that aside. Someone's asking me, when was the last time I saw the other VAs in real life? Hmm. That was a while ago. It was a while ago. And it would be running into somebody as we are both going into the studio. Yeah. Long time ago. Uh, yeah. I can do Spike again, Ashley, for sure. Uh, so I just want to say that it's so great to see all you guys again. Um, I've said this a couple of times that I've been spending uh, some time sandblasting the castle. It's really falling apart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so other than that, like um, I've been hanging out with the Wonder Bolts a little bit um, because I've just been really interested in like uh, flying real fast and stuff and doing some like performance art. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of cool, too. And I was thinking about maybe being a stuntman, you know, on the side. But, um, yeah, kind of dangerous. I mean, heck, if I could have been in that, I was, if, I, if I met Garble and I went through everything I did with, like, the, the Dragon King, come on. You know, like, I can do anything, right? Yeah. So it's good to see you guys. And uh, thanks for supporting and being here on the live stream. I have another one in an hour. Why? Because... And because a lot of you couldn't make it. I know it's only an hour difference, but that's just me. So um, what else to say? Okay. Um, I'm going to show, since we only have 15 minutes left, can you believe it? 15 minutes left. I know. Um, I'm going to show you the vintage Cyber 6 thing I was talking about. Are you still there, Cyber 6 fans? Because it's coming. For those of you who love Cyber 6, and Cyber 6 was a series we did many, many years ago. I was the lead in it, and it was a female lead, which is extremely rare. Um, yes, I can do maybe a Spike tutorial at some point. Um, and so uh, Cyber 6 um, was part cyber, part human. It was set in a very European-y kind of setting, which was fantastic. And I played not only Cyber Six, the lead, who was part cyber, part human, but I also played um, a male teacher, Adrienne Seidelman. So she was disguised as a male teacher by day and was an action heroine struggling between her humanity and her cyber extra superpowers at night, fighting crime. And she wore this leather hat. How she could fly in this getup, I don't know. 
Um, I can't get in that get up, although I do have the same kind of body, don't I? Just kidding. Would I wish. Okay, so here is what I'm going to show you. This is, yeah, it even has a date on it. That's dating me way back. Okay, a Cyber 6 calendar. Look at this. You guys ready? Like, come off it. A Cyber 6 calendar. Hello, Buenos Aires. Hello. I know. I know. I know. Look at that. Is that not awesome? I know. It's a calendar. I know. I can't part with it, though. Look at the date. Don't even look at the date. I know. It's amazing. I haven't even looked to see what else is in here. Oh, I think I just broke it. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to pull out August because that is, um, I know you need it. I know you need it, but you can't have it right now anyway. I'm not going to put it in my store, but it's a thought, isn't it? Um, I'm going to pull up August. Why do you think I'm pulling up August in the calendar, every pony, every Cyber 60? Because that is my birthday month. Hmm. Now, they're, are they all mixed up? Are you kidding? No, they're not. Okay, wait. I'm just going to see what August is. So here's August. Ha ha. I know. I know. I know you need that. I know you do. I know. We all do. <laughs> what do you call the... Oh, my God. It's... I can't remember. What do you call those big thugs? Come on, Cyber 6 fans. Where are those... Um, those thugs, they had a name that the um, evil scientist, I'm forgetting it all. Um, there, look at that. There's um, the evil young guy. Oh, my God. Ju not Julian. That's that's Andrew. Um, I forget his name. I know. Uh, oh, fixed ideas. That's it. Fixed ideas. Thank you. Fixed ideas. I know. It's so funny, isn't it? It's a great show, you guys. You should really check it eat. Check it out. Again, I can't speak. I'm a voice actor. Whatever. What is that? What is that? We can't speak normally. <laughs> Fix ideas. Yes. More Christmas water. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I do have quite a sense of humor. And, and if I didn't, I think we'd all be dead, wouldn't we? You got to have a sense of humor. Um, another kind of strange paraphernalia I have. Well, maybe I'll sell it. I'm going to save it for the next live stream. I have more coming up. I know. I was going to pull out, you guys, my first guitar that I ever had. I found my first guitar because I used to play guitar. Well, I played it in university, but I also just play it. Fix ideas, yes. Um, and um, I was going to pull it out, and I thought I might even do a little spike song for you. So you know what? I just may sing a spike song in my next live stream, which is coming up in an hour. I might. It might have to be a cappella, though. I was hoping that my guitar was in shape, but it's not. I broke a string. A string is broken. I have, um, I have three guitars. I do. I know you didn't know that. Um, and does Spike like the piano more than Pinky likes flugelhorns? No, I think Pinky likes flugelhorns more. Don't you? I, I do. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go shortly. Any last questions? Um, if you guys are really serious about doing voice work, I just want to say to you to take time and care with a demo because don't rush it. Will this live be saved? I'm thinking about it. As you know, I've saved, I put the other two on IGTV. I may not put the last one on, but I am... Uh, possibly going to put this one on we'll see we will see um thank you lone wolf loof thank you thank you i'm very kind of you for your compliments thank you zulaikwa 14 i so i really want to know what these handles mean there's there's something behind the names aren't there yeah um and thank you everyone for your wonderful art for your wonderful music uh for attending the conventions um once again, I know that uh, it's been a struggle for so many of you, um, and um, we're all getting through this together. Um, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic um, is still around, everyone. Yeah, um, it, it really is. And I just want you guys to, to really, uh, you know, take the meaning of it with you and be that in your life, because we need you. Oh, your name is Arabic. 
oh, I wish I could pronounce it. Zulak, Zulak, Zulaikwa, Zulaikwa. Did I say it right? Yeah. You're very welcome. And um, I know I miss MLP too. Bye, Fraser. Uh, thank you too for coming, you guys. Um, and um, like I said, I'll be back in another hour. Um, and that'll be it. It's quite a bit. I know. It's quite a bit for me too. But I, I said I would and I will be back. Okay. So it is about, we've got nine minutes left. Uh, if there's any last minute questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I, yes, I am uh, hosting um, online coaching. Uh, you can go to Kathy Wesley Voice Productions, www.kathywesley.com, I believe it is. Um, and um, have a peek and see what I'm offering. Um, and I hope to do some, goodbye. I hope to do some more um, uh, workshops that are online and some other live streams. And if you guys have anything that you're interested in um, as far as live stream content or topics, um, then just let me know. No worries. All right. We've only got a few minutes left. Um, so um, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I've got a few more things I wanted to show you guys, and I'm going to wait until the next live stream. Okay? So store is still open. If you want anything, it's going to carry on until the 6th of June. Um, and uh, you're welcome to get anything on there, and I'd be happy to sign it and get it out to you. Okay? I'm going to let you go. I'm going to see you guys again in one hour or so, those of you who can make it. And if you can't, thank you for joining us, and have a great time. Where did I find agents? Good question. I'll answer that for you happily. Uh, I highly recommend that you get an agent that is located in a large center because they are working. They're, they're, they're getting their people. Bye for bye for, for guy, the fur guy. Um, so always find an agent that is in a bigger city. So if you have like a little agent in one of your towns, I'm not saying they're not great. But you want to make sure that they know what they're doing and that they've been able to get people work. Um, so if you live in a nearby community, still seek out an agent, I think, in a big center. That's what I would do. And also, you can go online. And for those of you that want voiceover training when COVID-19 is back, is, is gone, I should say, and we can uh, do all this in person again, then uh, I would definitely call your nearest talent agency and ask them who they would send their talent to for training. That's your best bet. And then um, check out trainers and check out good agencies there. But they're, they're all online in your local arena, but do get one. Make sure that demo's good, you guys. You gotta put the time and effort and even the money in that demo if you wanna get into the, the field. Okay, bye you guys. Thank you for coming. I may or may not see you next time in an hour or so. All right. Brohuff.